Hey guys, Greg Metford from for Knife and MKT USA. Finish grinding is where it all comes together. We've rough ground it, we grind in two steps. We've rough ground it, we've heat treated it, we've marked it, we've done a final surface grind to get rid of thermal distortion and now we're gonna really tie together all of the surfaces, all of the bevels, all of the finish and bring it into its kind of final look that you're gonna see uh, prior to coatings and any post-process finishing. Let's step out on the floor and uh, get you a little preview of how uh, finish grinding goes. So, to make a blade so far, we've cut it out with a water jet, we've chewed up the sides on a surface grinder, we've done that slightly oversized. We've tumbled it, we've machined it to put holes, pockets, and features in it. We've also engraved it. From there, it goes for the very first time into grinding, it gets rough ground. From rough grinding back to, it goes to heat treat for the first time. Heat treat, it gets hardened, eyeball straightened, quenched, cryoed back to surface grinding where we get rid of thermal distortion on the sides from the temperature, various temperature changes. After all that, we now have a knife that's flat on each side. It's got about 80% of its bevel ground and we're in here for the finish grind part. Come on, let's go in and check it out. This is freehand, eyeball, and hand craftsmanship done on every single knife. Before this process, the knife starts like this. It's been rough ground, had all of these other steps, it's been sandblasted, and then we come here and we surface it off and we're gonna start now prettying it up and giving it its final finish. So we've surfaced off both sides and we've now driven it down to an exact thickness, plus or minus two tenths of a thou. Now from here we need to drive this bevel. We've done this bevel down to about 80% of thickness. We need to get it to 100%. So we'll jump in and do that now. This is all done by hand. This is where we balance up the plunge lines, balance up the shoulders, make sure the pen panels and the fall-off points are identical, top and bottom. This is something we're known for as a company. I'll show you one that's been finished ground already. When you look at this knife, you'll see these grind striations, which we leave in here. They're very subtle grind striations. They're perpendicular to the edge and the radius all the way around. That shows you this is hand done. You can't do that on a machine. All right, can you do bevels on a machine? Yes, but you can't do bevels while rotating, staying perpendicular to the edge on a machine. They don't, we don't really have any machines that do that. You have to kind of fake it everywhere and then you get rid of the grind lines. I leave those on purpose. It's a bit of bragging rights if they're handmade. Every knife, every bevel, every plunge, come on over here. See it going on here as well. Now, if we look down on these knives here for a moment, you'll see this knife has already had the flat grind done and has not had the hollow. I'll show you the flat, follow me. We'll do the flat grinding on a machine set up like this. With the belt, belt running by, we grind here on a flat plot and on this surface to, to get you that really strong tip. Come on, let's step outside. So finish grinding is the finesse part of grinding. It's really where we do all the final dressing. Um, you know, I, I, you can kind of think about it maybe a little bit like uh, making a car. You know, they put all these body panels together and it all starts to come together. But when it's time to make it all look amazing, uh, it's got all, the, all of this hand craftsmanship comes into place. Um, even on a Porsche, um, uh, on high-end cars, you'll see they've been block sanded and hand finished and put together for this beautiful organic human touch. It's really hard to replicate any other way. It's the same thing with grinding. If you know grinding and you look at our knives, you go, holy shit, how does he grind all those knives? And it's with this training and this teaching and this kind of human development that goes along with making knives. Um, it's hard, it takes a long time to get good at. I think it takes a year and a half to be decent at grinding. My best grinder's been here almost four years now. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's tough grinding knives. It's tough work, it's hard work, but it's creative. It's like a kind of precision sculpting. Uh, and um, it's one of our signature things that differentiates us from everybody who either does a mid-tech or a production style knife. You know, a hand ground knife is something to behold. All right, sports fans, that's finished grinding. Um, it is the most, it's the highest level grinding before sharpening. It takes maybe 12 to 18 months to get somebody spooled up on how to do that. It is the final finishing craftsmanship, manly icing on the cake of making knives. 
Now I say manly, we just don't have any girls doing that right now. I'd be happy to train a female knife grinder. But anyways, that's finished grinding. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed If you want to find out more, go to MedfordUniversity.com. Of course, stop by and check us out. Google, YouTube, Facebook, Ding Dong, Chitty Chat, Twitter what and all that not.